Sin and punishment. No, this is not justification and sanctification. This is a Japanese video game, of course. Rail shooters on the Wii have been a popular staple for the console, with games the likes of the successful House of the Dead and the Wii's version of Dead Space called Dead Space Extraction. Now it's Sin and Punishment's turn with Sin and Punishment's Successor of the Skies. On a manic planet in a galaxy far, far away that's completely overridden with, don't get jolted with excitement now, monsters in a post-apocalyptic universe. Two young protagonists, as usual, blow the crap out of the evil monsters that ravenously are destroying the world. Besides the monotonous plotline, the characters are super dangerous and cause a heck of a lot of damage. Which is good, and that's science. The rail shooting component is solid and without fault. This is possibly one of the best rail shooters out on the market. Not only are the battles out of control in terms of explosive action, they are delivered well and with exceptional speed. This is my biggest problem with Sin and Punishment. The game plays out like a chihuahua on speed. There seems to be very little pacing during shootouts and that can get a bit frustrating and to be honest, boring. The graphics are awesome for a title on the Wii and this is a massive achievement given the Wii's relatively low system specs and the relentless raucous action that's literally blowing up your television set. The two player component is a bit of a lost opportunity. It exists but feels like a cheat as they don't control the player but only let them shoot fools. This could have been something so much more, and even a selling point for the series to make it more unique and set it apart from other rail shooters. To keep things on the epic side of the spectrum, the boss fights are extremely memorable. They are huge and rewarding to take down, and will keep us reminiscing for years to come. Similar to that huge ass sloth creature in House of the Dead. Sin and Punishment boasts a massive 9 out of 10. As far as rail shooters go, this is genre dominating stuff. If you enjoy rail shooters, you've got to get it.